In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a very simple banner like this for aluminium and metal works in Photoshop. And this is coming up. Hi everybody, Innocent here and welcome to the channel. Over here we make videos like this. If that is something that sounds like you're interested, kindly consider subscribing. Inside the description will be a link to download all the resources if you want to practice and in case you just practice over and you want to send it over for me to see you can send it on instagram and then we can get in touch over there now let's get into photoshop and let's get started all right so i'll be doing this in photoshop 2021 but this should work with any version of photoshop the first thing we are going to do is we're going to create a new document and we are doing this in a form of a banner and the specific size that we are using is five feet by three feet so we go to Control plus n new and then since photoshop doesn't give us the actual feet or photoshop doesn't give us a paper size in feet we are going to convert it to inches so that means that we are going to have like five that is 12 multiplied by five and that is going to give us 60 and then we are going to have the height to be 36 inches that is three feet and since this is a banner it means that the size is going to go up if the resolution is also up so we can reduce this to about 100 or 150 but i'm going to keep it 100 so that this can run so smooth but again if you are doing it without recording your screen at the same time you can actually set this to around 150 now once you have this you can go ahead and click on create okay so this is the size that we are going to use and it looks very simple plain we are not going to keep this complicated or complex so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to create a rectangle so you go to the shapes over here you right click and then you can choose the rectangle tool from this point now we are going to go ahead and create a rectangle that is going to go across the entire canvas like this so something like that should be fine you can give it any color at all you don't have to worry you can change it anytime just in case you want to change the color you can come to the layer thumbnail over here double click on it and then you can choose any color of course from this side but then we are going to use a gradient overlay so this is not really necessary so you can press ctrl t and then we can open our rectangle a little bit like this if we want to so now we have this you can press ctrl j to make a duplicate press ctrl t and then we can transform that duplicate like this so something small like that so you double click on the layer thumbnail over here and then you can change that color to white now we are going to push that color up a little bit like this and then you can zoom in a little bit like that press ctrl t and then you can transform the white rectangle a little bit like that and then you position it right over here so we have our rectangles done now we can go back to our first rectangle over here right click on it and go to blending options at this point we can go straight to the gradient overlay over here so we click on the gradient overlay and then it gives us an already made gradient overlay so we are going to click on the gradient bar over here now in my case i've already set a gradient that i'm going to use so i can go for this particular one here or you can choose this one as well so this one works best for me and then these are the hex codes just in case you want to use the same thing so this is the first one and this is the second one now once you have this done you can go ahead and click ok ok and then you can click ok again from here we can then go ahead and add our images so to add our images we are going to create about eight rectangles that we are going to make use of so we go back to the rectangles again and in case you want to use any other style you can go for the rounded rectangle so we choose the rectangle tool over here again we go ahead and then we create a very simple rectangle like this one and then we can give it any color just to make sure that we know exactly where the rectangle is so we can take our time then and position it using the arrow controls or the arrows on your keyboard so something like this should be fine now we go ahead and make duplicates of this by pressing ctrl j and then we can drag it to the right side over here so somewhere around here should be fine 
and then we make one more duplicate and drag it to this very side so something like this should be fine now we can select all the three rectangles here go to layer and then we go to distribute and then we can distribute it horizontally just to make sure that the space here and that here are all equal now we can press ctrl t and then transform this rectangle a little bit to make it a bit smaller like that and then we can double click on it to make sure that it is done with the three rectangles selected we can press ctrl g to make a duplicate and then we drag it right underneath of it like this we can then select all the six rectangles that we have now press ctrl t and then we can open it up a little bit like that with this done we can then go and select the last rectangle that we created make one more duplicate and drag it to this very side so we can make sure that we position it at the very top over here we make sure that it is in alignment with the top one like that and then we can press ctrl t and bring this one in here a little bit like that we can then open it up a little bit like this and then press ctrl j to make one more duplicate like that select the last two rectangles that we created and then we can press ctrl t and then open it up like that or close it up if as you say something like this should be fine we can then select all the rectangles that we created except the, the first two that we created and then we can press ctrl g to group that so this is our rectangles we can press ctrl a and make sure that it is centered now it is time to insert our images so we are doing this for aluminium doors sliding doors frame so i've got some pictures and link it's in the description if you want to download that and follow suit so to do that the first thing we do is we open one rectangle at a time and then we clip mask the image into it because the images are already nice shot nicely shot and beautifully done so you select the first rectangle and then you go to file place embedded and then you are going to select from the numerous images the one that you deem fit so you look at the positionings of the images and where you want them to be so the first image that i used was this particular one so you place it right on top of that open the image up a little bit like that and then you can right click and then create a clip mask now you realize that the reason why we had to take the paint to create all the rectangles to give the images the same shapes because some of them are bigger and are positioned different than the others so you can take your time to use the arrow keys to position your image and if it looks fine for you you can then go ahead to the next one right click on it and then select the rectangle go to file and then and then you can choose the next image that we want to use so just like the same you open it up like that right click and create a clipping mask and then you can take your time to reposition it let me do the last one and then fast forward and i'll catch you when i'm done so we select the third one also like that so we choose this image for instance and then we position it over here open it up double click on it right click and then create a clipping mask and you realize for instance this image is facing the side that is why i had to bring it over here to keep it in perspective and so we are going to do the same thing for the rest of the images and the rectangles and i'll see you when i'm done all right so now we have this one piece left and then for the image that i have to insert this particular image here we realize that there are a couple of whites around it so we can just basically place it in here like that open it up something like this so that it fits in there and that means that we can go back to the rectangle double click on the layer thumbnail change the color here to white so that it basically matches with the background and we don't have to just worry ourselves you can just play around with all of that just in case you come up with a picture or an image that is quite difficult so at this point we've inserted our images and then it means that we can then go ahead and add our test so to add our test the first one we are going to add will be the heading that is the name of the company or if it belongs to someone so we can close all of these group already here because we've already done with that so we can go right on top of that group and then we go for our test tool now the first font 
type that we're going to use is called Bebas new i'll leave links in the description if you want to download that as well and i've already made up my test so i'm going to just left click over here to initiate a test and we have the test already made right over there so you can just copy this come into photoshop like that and then we can paste it so you press ctrl t and then you can open up your test like that so we open it up to be way bigger something like this and then we can press ctrl a and make sure that it is centered now it looks too big for us so we can close it up something like that and make sure that it is positioned in the middle now you take your time and then you can position this one like that now let's try to open this up a little bit because it looks too closed so we can go to the toggle character and open up the spacing like this this should work fine so we are going to need the effect on this rectangle to be applied on this test as well so we select the rectangle hold alt and then we can drag it onto the test and this is how it basically works out the next test that we are going to add will be the one on top that basically what we do so we go for our test tool again t for test and then we can left click and then this time around we are going to choose poppins so poppins medium will be fine and then we go back to our test copy that go into photoshop and then we can paste it over here so this time around i'm going to change the alignment to left aligned change the color back to white and click ok and then we can press ctrl t to open this one up a little bit we can make it way bigger so at this point we can come to this portion and cut this area off so that we can have just two points and then we can press ctrl t to increase it up or increase the font a little bit more let's even bring the burglar proofing down as well and then we can bring this back so something like that should be fine and then we can then change this back to centered since we now know exactly where the test should be so we can press ctrl t and open it up a little bit like that press ctrl a and make sure that it is centered like so now we can select all these tests again go to the toggle character and then we can set this to about 78 or better still let's keep this around 82 so that there will be some kind of spacing in there as well i think this even looks still so 85 should be fine and then we are good to go so we can push this up a little bit like that and then at the very end of this we can bring our test down and say that location and your location here so something like this so basically if you have a location or something you can place that one over here so we can select all of that go to the color picker and then we are going to give it a different color say this color and then we can click ok from here now once we're done with this we can then add our contact details to this particular banner so to do that we are going to need one more rectangle at the very bottom over here so we open or we create a rectangle to the very end of this side so something like this and then we are still going to need this particular effect that is the effect on this one onto the rectangle that we just created so we can hold alt and drag the effect onto this it basically creates it for us and then we can also make a duplicate of this particular test that we just created and then we send it on top of that rectangle so we can bring it over here and then we have our test already made we select this one copy it and then we can basically paste it like this so let's select the test and then left align it and we can then place it right over here so something like this should be fine we press ctrl t and then we can open this up a little bit like that so something like this should be fine and then we can close up the gap here it doesn't look really well so we can close it up like that press ctrl t and then we can open it up some more now i don't have much information for this that is why i had to keep it very simple like this but just in case you have like your igs your um, email your website you can put all of them or you can adjust your space over there and then put all of them 
over there as well now we can send this particular images all of them on top right on top of all of that that means that on top of this contact we can add something like hue and saturation just to give us an opportunity to easily switch our test so something like this so to make that work very best for you you basically have to keep this white as well but just i know you are getting the concept if you want to some way somehow change your colors over here for the rectangle and that of the test you can basically use this hue and saturation to make it work best for you so something like this should work way better for me so this looks way better right so this is with the hue and saturation and this is without the hue and saturation let me know in the comment section which one is your favorite and just like that you create a very simple banner for aluminium works if you want to know more about how to choose the right paper size for your works i made a full tutorial on that you can check that in the description i'll be getting value out of this video and if you did a subscribe to the channel will be so very shiny Thank you so very much for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. It's Innocent here and bye.